If you're shooting one shot color, you might have heard that a great way how to shoot narrowband with it is to buy not only a traditional dual narrowband filter, which has AJ and O3, but also a second dual narrowband filter, which has O3 and S2. And especially for this second filter, the best option presently is Ascar, who has the color magic filters, either the C1, C2, which are the cheaper ones, or the D1, D2, which are the better ones. One turn off with these filters is a little bit that after you stacked it, you still have to kind of do some manipulations to at the end have the three traditional exposures, which is the HA, the O3 and the S2. But starting today, we can say no more and we can do it with one simple push on a button. How? I will show you after the intro. Hey, this is View Into Space. I'm Sascha from Switzerland. So good to meet the Nander and thanks for watching my channel. Just to make something clear at the beginning, I'm not standing here voluntarily. I was forced to. Mm. What can you do? Anyway, let's get going. So my Spanish goes about like buenos dias, gracias, and adios amigos. And that's about it. And if your Spanish is about the same grade as mine is, then it's no wonder why we actually missed this new script. Because the only real source I could find until now is this video, which is 45 minutes long and it's completely in Spanish. I have no clue how they could spend 45 minutes introducing this rather small script, but they seem to have a good time. Anyway, I stumbled over that in a Facebook group and looked it up. And thankfully the script in PixInsight is in English. And I thought, let's make a video and show it also to you. So I understand it's a little bit a niche thing, but if you own one of these filters, and by the way, bracket, if you do not own one of these filters and you're actually shooting one shot color, you should buy one of these filters. They're not expensive and they enable you to create real SHO pictures. I will not repeat any statements like then you're as good as mono because with mono you still have the way higher resolution, but at least from a channel point of view, you can still have the three pictures, HA, O3 and S2, and you can create real SHO pictures with it. And that's already a big improvement. Bracket closed. So once you have such a filter, until now there was really a lot of work that had to be done after stacking. You had to tear apart both of these pictures, then you had the red channels separated, you had to recombine the blue and the green channel, then you had to recombine the two pictures, then you had to switch them all to grayscale, and so on. So the cool part of this script which these guys were doing is that it's now practically a one button solution. And I think they even state that they can do it better than simply by ripping apart the channels. That unfortunately, given that it wasn't Spanish, I could not comprehend. But anyway, let's hop into PixInsight and I will show you how it works. Welcome to my computer. Before we go to PixInsight, here the website, dbextractastrocitas.com. And here you find actually the link for the repository. That's also the only thing we need here. With that, we go here to Pix Insight. Just as a formality, if you have not installed it yet, you don't know how, just go to Resources, Updates, Manage Repositories, click Add, and copy paste the link in here, state OK state OK, then you go again on resources, again on updates, and you say check for updates. And once you have done that, you have to restart PixInsight. But just before we actually open the script, let me show what I have here. I still found some pictures I took with the D2 filter of Ascar. So the O3 S2 filter, that's actually here. And here we have the Antlia ALPT, which delivers the HA and O3. 
So it's not necessary that you have the, the do or the C1, C2 or D1, D2. The main thing is that you have one picture, that dual narrow band, which has the HA03 data in it, and you have one picture dual narrow band, which has the O3 and S2 in there. That is all that matters. With that, we go now to script, utilities, DB extract, and here is the script. So it's really, really easy. Camera sensor, you just choose your camera sensor and mine is already chosen here by default, the IMX571. Then you enter here the picture for HA and O3. That will be my Aunt Leah. And the S203 would be my color magic D2. Now you can, if you want, already create an SHO picture based on the channel pictures it will create. And you can say to close the intermediate O3 images. That I would definitely select, you don't need them. With that, let's say extract. Okay, and it's done. So let's first look at the SHO picture. And well, it's SHO. <laughs> I think the Orion Nebula we do not want in SHO, but just saying. But here now the channel pictures, so O3, S2, and HA. And with that, you can actually start processing like you were shooting mono and with much, much less effort than if you would have to do now this separation and combination again separately. So that's already all that there is to show here. Okay, short and sweet. I hope that was helpful. So see you next time and clear skies.